The early access version of the new Unreal Engine 5 has been released and I am excited to start using this incredible creative technology. I specialize in virtual reality. I'm going to deploy a simple game into the Oculus Quest 2 headset using the new Unreal Engine 5. The Unreal Engine 5 has now made it a lot easier to deploy games into the Oculus Quest 2 headset. There are just five simple steps to follow and you will be good to go. In the first step, we download and install Android Studio. In the second step, we install the new Unreal Engine 5. In the third step, we download Microsoft Visual Studio. In this step, I go through the download and installation process in detail. In the fourth step, we configure the new Unreal Engine 5 for Android deployment. And in the final step, we create our game in Unreal Engine 5 and deploy into Oculus Quest 2 headset. All the links I used in this process can be found in the description section of this video. Just before we move forward, please make sure that you have turned on your developer mode for your Oculus Quest 2 headset. This would make it possible for us to deploy successfully. Open up the Oculus app on your mobile device, navigate to the bottom left, tap on the devices, tap on developer mode and switch it on. I can wait for you to go turn on the developer mode. Just make sure to subscribe to this channel on your way back. So, first things first, let us download Android Studio. Open up your browser and type in developer.android.com. I select Download Android Studio. We need a specific version of Android Studio for this process. So I click on Download Options and navigate below to select Download Archives. I scroll down to accept all the terms and conditions. I then identify and select the 353 version of Android Studio. We click on the link to download it. Access the download file and double click on it. I click on yes and follow the installation prompts by clicking on next. I click on install. Android Studio is now being installed. I wait for this to complete and then click on finish. I am not looking to import anything, so I click on OK. I click on Don't Send because we need to use a specific version of Android Studio. Ignore the prompts at the bottom, you can just close it off. I click on Next and select the custom option. I click on Next and select the dark theme. At this point, I just keep clicking on the Next button and at the end, I click on Finish. All the required components will now be downloaded and installed. If you get a prompt, just make sure you click on Yes to allow apps to make changes to your device. Once this is done, click on Finish, then close Android Studio. This brings us to the end of the first step. Let us move forward to the second step. To install the new Unreal Engine 5, let us download the Epic Game Installer. Open your browser and type in unrealengine.com. At the top of the right corner of the screen, click on Download. Navigate down and click on Download Now to download the Epic Installer. If you are not signed in already, you can just go ahead and sign in. If 
you do not have an account, you would have to create one to access the Epic Games installer. Once the download completes, double click on the file and then click on install. I click on yes and wait for the installation process to complete. Epic Games is now installed. Sign in to your account for access. At the top section on the page, click on UE5. Click on Download Early Access. Follow the prompts to install the new Unreal Engine 5. This will take some time. I'm just going to go get some coffee. The installation is complete. Go ahead and close Epic Games. This brings us to the end of the second step. Let us move to the third step. Let us download Visual Studio. Open up your browser and type in visualstudio.com. I am looking to develop for games and VR, so I select corresponding options. The technology to use is C++. I select accordingly. Upon my selections, I am presented with an ideal Visual Studio download. Click on Download Visual Studio and download the Community 2019 version. I open the downloaded file, double click on it to install the Visual Studio installer. I follow the prompt by clicking on Yes and then I click on Continue. This would download and install the Visual Studio installer. I am presented with an interface to select my workloads. Under the Desktop and Mobile section, I select .NET Desktop Development. I select Desktop Development with C++. I select Universal Windows Platform Development. Under the Gaming section, I select Games Development with C++. I navigate to the right side of the page and select Android IDE support for Unreal Engine. At the top of the left, I navigate to the Individual Components section. I select .NET Core 2.1 Runtime. I navigate back to the Workload section. At this point, we go ahead and click on the Install button at the bottom right corner to install Visual Studio and all the components we have specified. This would take some time. I'm off to get some coffee real quick. Installation is now complete. I click on the option to sign in later, select the dark theme and then start Visual Studio. Once startup completes, I simply close Visual Studio and restart my computer. This brings us to the end of the third step. Let's move to the fourth step. Let us configure new Unreal Engine 5 for Android deployment. Navigate to your C drive. Click on Program Files. Click on Epic Games. Click on the UE5 folder. Click on Engine. Click on Extras. Click on Android. Double click on Setup Android. Accept the license agreement by typing Y from your keyboard. Press Enter. This will download and configure the components we need. Once this is complete, please press any key to continue and then restart your computer. This brings us to the end of the fourth step. Let us move to the last step. Let us create a game in the new Unreal Engine 5 and deploy into the Oculus Quest 2 headset. I open up Epic Games. If you get this prompt, just click on Fix Now. At the top right corner, I launch the Unreal Engine 5 Early Access. If you get a prompt about making changes to your device, just click on Yes and you are good to go.
In the Unreal Project Browser, I select Virtual Reality and deselect Starter Content. I give my project a name and click on Create. The project creation process takes time. Just let it take its time to compile. Once the compiling process is complete, navigate to the top left corner and click on Edit. Select Project Settings. On the left side of the page, scroll down to the Platform section. Select Android. Click on the Configure Now button. I decide to change the name for my Android package to my website address. If you decide to change this as well, make sure the name you give is in the form of a website URL. At this point, I connect my headset and allow USB debugging through the headset. At the top right section of the page, I click on Platforms. I select my headset for deployment and save my project. The deployment process will now begin. Please allow some time for deployment to complete. Upon completion, put on your headset to view and play your game. If you are looking to access this deployment at a later time, click on the apps icon and navigate to the top right corner to select unknown sources from the drop down. All the games you deploy will always stay here for you to access any time you want. That brings us to the end of this process. I believe Unreal Engine 5 is going to be a game changer and I cannot wait to share more VR tutorials with you. See you soon.